to another video, guys. Welcome back to another hot day in my garage. Jerry, we are, uh, what's that word? Just sweating? Sweating profusely? Sweating profusely, sweating profusely. I'm not really, uh, it's not that bad yet. <laughs> that word. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be doing a little helmet review. Every seat, these F uh, shell helmets. Maybe, how long ago, three months ago? <laughs> it was like three months ago. I've been running this over here. I actually wanted to literally wear them a lot and really get the actual feel of how they feel before I give you guys if it's gonna be a yes or a no. Jerry has actually had the most time with it already. I put it mines on a few times, um, but yeah, that that's it. Um, but Jerry, he rides that helmet like most every day, right? So, all right, so let's talk about the helmet. Shape, size, everything. Yeah, this one, I got the polo style one. I mean, you know, like, my wife's not a fan. I don't think Junior's a fan of the little bill on the front. But I like that design. You know, like, so some people aren't a fan, but then they have the one that he has, and they have a couple of different designs. You know, the flat one, and then they have the one with the duck bill on the back, where you put it in the back. I kind of like this one more. Yeah. And it is DOT approved. Yeah. And has what else? In it. Has padding in and everything. Like super hard construction. It's not no plastic. You can't bend this thing. Ooh, look at the guts in there. All right, so let's talk about fitment. Uh, you want to put it on real quick yeah. so I can show you how it looks? I mean, I think it fits perfect. This is an extra large. You look like you're about to play polo. Yes. <laughs> you know, it fits good. Um, very comfortable. I've got. I did a 400 mile trip with it, and uh, normally where I used to wear the bigger helmets and they'd always be pulling on your head or pulling back when you're going and they're like mushroom yeah mushroom head but it's not even so much that it's the weight and when they pull back because of the wind this i don't have that this thing locks in it's got this little ratchet here that you click in get it to where you want and then if you just want to take it off you pull this and it releases uh i've never had an issue with the buckle i just Kind of, I should cut the strap. I mean, yeah, the only thing that I, I gotta say is that the strap's very the strap long. Is very long. I'm gonna probably cut it. I just wanted to get used to where I wanted it before I cut it. Um, and then, it, like I said, it, it's very comfortable. Um, I used to wear like on longer trips full face helmets, but now I wear the half in the summer because it's really hot. And um, on the street glide, you don't get the wind so much or whatever. But uh, like I said, it's very comfortable and uh, it fits good and it, it's a solid helmet. And I'm very happy with it. I, like I said, I've been running over three months. I did a couple long trips on it. And every day when I go to work, this is what I wear because it's, you know, where I'm at, it's a pain in the ass to put a uh, full face helmet somewhere. What do you, uh, honestly speaking, like, do you think it looks like a mushroom head on me right now? Does it, like, your fitment? It, it's, like, no, normally they, they look like real no, Well, if you wear your other one, it's like this. Yeah. You look like, uh, what's that, Spaceballs, the... <laughs> Dark, dark helmet or whatever his name is. This is like as a more reduced type of film. Yeah. Um, what I will say is that they do run a little bigger. Yeah. So if you are gonna order them, um, uh, go with a smaller size. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Yeah, you just pull it. Um, that's it. Yeah, they, they do run a bit, uh, a bit loose. So you might wanna maybe go down the size. Yeah, mine fits me perfectly though. I mean, I, you know. Maybe just have a really small head. I'm a size seven when it comes to fitted. I don't know what size my head is, but it's an extra large in helmets, so that's for sure. Um, when it comes to pricing, they're actually not that expensive no, either. Not at all. Um, if you like, I, we're not gonna go into pricing right now. So if you guys are interested in this, I'm gonna be linking down the link down below. Like quality, I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, there is like a little, uh, a weird smell that comes with the box when you get it at first, and it has like a very strong. Like, it's the bag they ship it in. Yeah, I think it's, it's the, bag. the bag. It has like a very strong chemical feel. Yeah. So I mean, smell. So that was the only thing, and then this the strap is a little bit too long. But I, like Jerry said, once you you know get it to the exact yeah, I'm just gonna cut it and it. then burn the edges so yeah. it's free. But they're pretty nice, man. So here's a nice close up of what the inside looks like. So it does feel pretty, pretty, pretty uh, comfortable. It's nice and padded. Um, it's really soft, so it feels great. And yeah, so if you're looking for a half shell helmet. Uh, if you're looking for something affordable, then definitely give it a check down below. Something small, fits in the saddlebag nice. It does fit in your saddlebag. Right, fits right in my saddlebag. Even the V-Rod saddlebag fits right in, which I can shut it. Space bags. Yeah, the space bags. Okay. Love it, love it though. Love it. Highly recommend it for a half helmet. Um, one out of ten. What do you give it? Nine. Really? Eight, nine? I mean, I... 
I've had, let me tell you, for years, like 20, 30 years ago, I used to run the novelty helmets. And some of them were plastic, some of them were fiberglass, but they had no padding inside, just had like a little... Yeah, the, the novelty here. helmet I have, Yeah, it's very tiny. Yeah, and, it's, uh, and very yeah, uncomfortable. It's, it's I used to just wear them locally. And then I started wearing full face helmets on longer trips. This is the first helmet I actually took on a long trip, like I said, 400 mile trip. And I wore this the whole time, and my wife wore hers, and no issues. Pretty good. Like I said before, all the information and description is gonna be linked down in the link down below. And that's gonna pretty much be it, guys. Jerry, good job on reviewing your helmet, man. I love it. Like I said, I'm so glad you gave this to me and I was able to review it. Because at first I was like, eh, I'm not gonna wear that maybe locally or something. And then I wear it all the time. Exactly. I remember. Because it's so hot, I can't wear it full face. I remember at first we were like, yeah, I'll wear it. Yeah, I'll yeah, wear it, yeah. And then one day he's like, oh, I love this helmet. Yeah, yeah. I love this helmet. I wear your shit all the time, yeah. yeah Even he, at high speed. He, he, like, he literally doesn't take it off anymore. Do like 100 miles an hour and this thing's not moving. It's great. I mean, That's awesome. Maybe it's not the safest thing, bro. Hey, listen, I, a lot of these, you know, small name companies, you know, they make good quality shit sometimes. So sometimes yeah. you don't got to pay that extra. I know people can be like, oh, well, you're going fast and you're on the highway, you should wear a full face. But if you got a windshield and a screen, you don't really need to. And it's, like I said, it's hot. You know, I mean, fly it depends. Off, fly yeah, off. if you fly off, it's fine. You know. fly off, you fly off. Uh, that's going to pretty much be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to catch you on the next one. This is Dirty. I was going to say this is the dirtiest white guy I know. <laughs> I was going to say, what the? What do you call dirty? <laughs> this is the coolest white guy I know, Jerry. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Like always, let the force it with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. <laughs> this is the, the dirtiest, dirtiest guy. white guy. I'm going to kick your foot. Uh, Man, move over no, more. Move over. This is over. Don't worry, man. It's not gay. I'm not worried about the chairs. <laughs>